Well, if you maybe are wanting to buy a puppy for the kids this holiday, um, you're not alone. A lot of people, hundreds of people, are losing hundreds of dollars trying to do just that. Five on your side investigator Jonathan Walsh shows how people are preying on the pandemic puppy boom. Puppies. They can be a great source of comfort during difficult times, but they can also be a source of pain. It's crazy how people can take people's money and have no shame about it. 19-year-old Maya Yurik from North Canton was using Hoobly.com, a classified site that advertises a lot of pets. But the Better Business Bureau has a current alert on Hoobly and gives it an F rating. Maya was just looking for a dachshund for her parents. A woman supposedly from Ashtabula had an ad. She was only asking 300 for them, which is fairly cheap. Maya sent a $150 deposit through Cash App, and then, you guessed it, she was ghosted. I tried calling her again, and the phone was, the number was out of service. Meanwhile, her dream has always been a Yorkie. Mark and Christine Sakian from Twinsburg tried to get a puppy in November through a site called LuckyYorkiePups.com. The sellers wanted $700 for a Yorkie named Anne. They asked that the money be sent through the pay app Venmo. They wanted us to do it to pay as if we were paying a friend rather than with the insurance because it would cost more and they said it would take 21 days. They sent the money, but then they got an email. That we needed to purchase a heated um, kennel for the dog and that it would be like over $4,000. The Sakians refused and were out 700 bucks. We are being inundated by reports from consumers uh, telling us their sad tale. Sue McConnell from the Cleveland BBB says online puppy purchase problems are really bad right now. And so does the attorney general. Swindlers basically operate by abusing people's trust and their good nature. Criminals will even create a backstory that hits the heart. Someone in the military who got deployed and couldn't keep the dog, or there's been some tragedy. We looked up LuckyYorkiePups.com, and sure enough, we found the same dog named Anne that the Sakians wanted. I emailed saying I'd like more information about the pups. Got a response right away, the exact same email the Sakians received. And was again $700 total. I then emailed a couple more times asking for additional information about the company. An emailer got back to me saying they were from Texas, some sort of backstory. But I asked the sellers then to send me a phone number so I could actually talk to somebody. No email back. So I picked up the phone and dialed a recently listed number for that site. I cannot complete your call. Please try again. The BBB gave LuckyYorkiePups.com an F rating, as other consumers have complained too. What do you think about that? That just breaks my heart it, because I'm not the only one that has gone through this. We contacted the domain company named Silo that registered the site. It thanked us for the heads up and immediately took the site down. So this holiday season, if you want a pup under the tree, the Sakians say you might want to just avoid online animal buying altogether. I would recommend going to a shelter. I mean, there's plenty there and it's a lot safer. Oh, got to love that cute puppy video. Mm -hmm. So when purchasing a pet, make sure you watch for poor grammar and spelling mistakes on emails and texts, sellers insisting on payments through a wire transfer, money order, or through an app. And if the seller avoids letting you see the dog in person, there are just red flags there. Now, the way the Sakians say the bank eventually called their transaction fraudulent and gave them back the $700, Hoobly.com never returned our messages for comment.